Right, maybe the third attempt of me trying to do this will work. I asked last episode, would you mind me firing some gold rounds? And a majority of people said, no, go for it. No gold, sorry, some gold, no food. And it was nine votes difference, but yeah. So uh, some gold, no food it is. As you can see, we've just played a game and uh, we've played two games. The first game, I didn't record my microphone. The second game, I didn't press record. And now we're here. I uh, just, sorry. Anyway, uh, these were the two games I'll show you. Both of them were not even firing gold. So yeah, there you go. We do now have the ammo loader of 40-15-5. I, I do say do roughly about half of whatever standard rounds you have as gold rounds because then it's a nice mixture between the two uh, for when you do meet the uh, higher tiers. So that is what we've got roughly. I know 15 isn't half of 40, okay? I might be bad at maths, but not that bad. The Liberté has like a stupid amount of shells, so I'm not worried. Anyway, hopefully you can now record a game and it's actually recording. I've double checked. And my microphone's working. Double check that as well. Let's begin. <laughs> okay, so after 20 minutes of speaking to myself, we are on highway. Very, very nice map, actually. I don't mind this. Um, I would prefer to be on the other side, but it's fine. Uh, tier 9 game, so no tier 10s to really worry about. So we shouldn't really need to be dipping into our uh, premium rounds too much. Obviously for like the VK 101p, we now have premium rounds, so we can actually stand a chance against him. Um, yeah, it's only really those tanks that are just pathetic in the game, in my opinion. Tanks that, like the VK, where it demands you to fire premium, and then it's still a 50-50, even on its weak spot, if it's if it's going to pen. It's just stupid. It really is. Um, I don't know why tanks can't have weak spots like the Liberté. Like the Liberté, um, I mean, I call this a Liberté because it pretty much is. It's just the unskinned version. Um, can we shoot this? Hmm. Not really. Might just wait a second. And this guy's looking at a house. Maybe he wants to buy it. Thinking of moving in. Right, let's go. Okay, we get across. Very, very nice. It's better to wait and make sure that you get across uh, than to take a load of damage. Uh, although, now we need to be careful of this. Hey, 350 damage. Or well, assistance damage. And now we just wait. We don't need to do anything. Just wait. But yeah, as I was saying, the Liberté, I feel, is one of the most balanced vehicles in the game. And it's still good. If more vehicles could be like this, I think the World of Tanks would be a much better place, honestly. Like it has a weak spot, a weak spot that can actually be penned. It's not super, super strong. Like, this is a really nice, just tier 8. And the problem being is that there's so many tier 8s now that are just strong, that you can fall into the trap as game developers of just feeling, or even players, I'm just feeling that the tank's bad because it's not as good as OP tanks. Okay, we are not going to continue trying to peek that. Oh. Ha 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 ha. This is going to be our first gold round ever fired on Big Nuba in this in this tank, <laughs> and it misses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, goodness sake! I mean, I don't really need gold rounds for this guy. Is he going to try and side scrape again? Don't know. Let's go this way quickly. 
try and assist this guy. Let's try and kill this guy before he reloads. I think that just went underneath my tank. Which is honestly more impressive than hitting my weak spot. Oh, he reloads just in time. And rolls a 448. Jesus. Oh. I just... <laughs> if you're wondering why i just done that, it's because I've tried to press 4. Um... Uh, Wow, he really wants me, doesn't he? He's determined to kill me. How are you missing? Whatever. That was a nice shot. Let's see if we can put another one in in a second. Uh, nine to six. Uh, yeah, I, I thought I pressed four. Um, to try and repair my tracks, um, but realised it was on cooldown. And I thought I pressed it, and it got to here, because it was repaired, so I pressed escape to try and get out of it. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, if we can get a few more shells in, then that would be really, really good. Nice. Make sure we go back, just hide, because the 704 will just, it doesn't care about me. It'll just go straight through me. Mm, don't get spotted. I think the Pajetto is down there. Ugh. I tried to fire early to get, to make sure I get the damage, but... So yeah, not too bad. Well, I mean, it's not too bad. Um, we only fired two premium rounds, so yeah, although I have them, I'm not just going to be, you know, using them all the time. I'll use them how I would actually use them normally. I mean, I might be able to get one more shell in. I think he's around here somewhere. Oh, he's all the way at the back, I think. Oh, okay. Well, no more damage for me. Well, 1.7 isn't too bad, and we are at still 86%. Uh, yeah, let's continue. Okay, so we are now on fjords on the good side of the map, and we are going to go down to the south to go and just grind out the uh, enemy heavy tanks, and we should complete this mission. Uh, I only need, like, what, 1.7, sorry, 1.8 something. So, that's not too bad. We will see if we can do it. You know, this tank isn't actually too slow. All things considered, this isn't a slow tank. I think the vents and the, like what I have, vents from a V stab, is the best for it. Because it just it just gives you the most. I mean, sure, you could use uh, optics instead of. Uh, vents if you want a bit more view range, but being a heavy tank, I don't really feel like you need it. We can actually shoot this because the Bazante is over angled slightly. You, though, you are an issue. Enemy armor is 
see. Oh dear. Should I hit this Capola? What do you think? No. <laughs> I wish my Capola was on the left hand side. Mind you, I wish the. I always wish for whenever I'm battling. Like, if I was on this side, then I'd be thankful that my uh, Capola is on the other side, because, like, you could then just go around onto this bit and farm, but... Man, why are you... Why is this guy so scared? Engine deck. Enemy armor is damaged. He's actually scared. Wow. I don't know why. I mean, yes, I know we're losing behind me, but there's not a lot I can do about that at the moment. Um, just keep an eye on it is all that we can really do. We can hide as well, so that's fine. RNG, man, please. Are they going to be pushing now? Yeah, it looks like it. We didn't even them. Really? Penetration. Nothing more we can do, unfortunately. Well, that went well. Um, yeah. Anyway. Into the next game. Ah, safe haven. Right, let's see what we can do. Uh, hopefully we can go up, if we can go up like a whole percent, that'd be really good actually. Uh, tier 8 only, a few heavies, Black Prince and a Tiger 1. Please, please let me meet them. Uh, we're going to go to the tunnel. I am the tunnel gamer after all, so uh, we're going to go tunnel and see what we can do. Uh, obviously, this is hopefully going to get done. I mean, I've said that last time, but I didn't grow too well, did it? Uh, Tiger 1 and the IS-6 are going there. That's annoying. Ooh, they're both HP boosted, though. Okay, let's have a little look. What is around this... <laughs> uh, what is around this corner, he says... I'm pushing this actually. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna play this really aggressive because I want to get some damage done. We're gonna play aggressive and go out by this IS6. Going to say uh, a bonjour, Monsieur IS6, in our uh, liberté. Very very nice. Oh, and a Black Prince is there. SU-152 far in heat at the back of the map is actually a problem. Because he could do a lot of damage to me. Also the IKV. I can't remember the pen. SU... Did SU just fire again? I think so. I'm not really too worried about the AT-15A. Eh? I'm not even too sure what's going on, to be quite honest with you. One into him. We're going we're gonna to start trying to be annoying to the TDs, actually. Yeah, I actually finally penned me. I was tempting fate, I know. Okay, we're going to go back around then, because I can't peek this. I forgot about this spot, to be honest with you. I thought that we could just play here and then have a nice little fight, but no, no, no. We need a TD spot at the back of the map. <sighs> oh, well. Doesn't matter too much. Let's go this way and see what we can do. 
They should just remove that spot entirely from this uh, map. Just make it so you cannot go there. That's what they should do. I believe. That's good. Should kill this guy. Very nice. Next prop. I can't even really peek this because of the T-43 at the back. Ah, uh, that's going to be very annoying. The Emil one might try and push me as well. So we're going to try and... If we can try and track him, then that'd be good. But there's no one to really shoot him. Here he comes. One. That's all free. And I really need him to die. Now we worry about the Black Prince. He's firing AP. He's not going to be able to pen me effectively. Right. That's dealt with. I guess now we just sit here and wait and try and see if the Black Prince is going to pop somewhere. I don't think he'll pop up here. He'll probably pop up here. Like, if anything. So we'll have to see. But yeah, as I said, I can't push forwards because of the T-43 at the back here and anyone else that might be sitting there. I mean, I wasn't expecting him to push, like, peak this, but he has. I mean, either way, we should be winning this, so... We just have to play a little bit patient, just try and get a little bit more out of the game. We don't need to rush anything. Nice. He's not going to keep peaking this. Now that he's taken another shell, if he peaks this again, he's just stupid. Everyone on the left-hand side has been spotted, which is really, really good for me. We can also go and shoot this T-43. Uh, not quite. Maybe in a second I can? I mean, he's going to take one from the... Uh... I... Okay. No idea what he's doing, to be honest. Uh, hopefully we got a few blind shots into the, like, SU and friends. Maybe. No, no blind shots into the SU. Um, I don't know whether or not we got any blind shots into the others. I didn't really pay attention to their health. Um, but we will have to see. The SU's right there. I know he's right there because he spotted me. <laughs> Hopefully that one went in. Didn't. Uh, one more? Yay! I doubt we're getting another. He's going to go forward now too much. Yeah. Even if we did reload in time, um, he would have been around the corner. So, nice game though. And we've completed this one with honours. Very nice. Uh, so, yes, we did get one blind shell. Uh, I don't know who. 
Well, there's two issues. No. Oh, okay. Uh, did we hit this guy? I, I honestly don't even know which one we hit. Um, anyway, that's another ace tanker that we have on this tank. So 4,000 damage is not too bad. And 100k even without premium. Uh, okay, 86.67. Not a bad session so far. We'll play one more game um, as we still have some boosters on and uh, wrap things up. Ah, yes. Fisherman's Bay. My favourite. Hopefully we don't get cross-fired. I mean... We shouldn't do. We're going to play it safe and go all the way around, so we shouldn't be getting uh, crossfired at the start. Maybe we can shoot this guy, though. Not really. Ah, at least we have uh, premium rounds now, though. So uh, we can actually utilize them against tanks that need them. We will go back to the same spot that we always do at the start here. We don't even get spotted for that. Oh. Just beautiful. Only other, uh, one shot was only mine, uh, my spotting, but. Ah, I rushed that. I should have really waited a little bit, but oh well. Max, come on, man. Wait. I kind of knew what he was going to do. Oh, well. At least he's dead. At least only five for an AP. Okay. One show in. We can now use this to our advantage. He's tracked. Let's make, try and make keep him perma-track there. Don't know why he hasn't repaired yet. Still tracked. He's fired all three as well. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's already used his repair kit, but it doesn't make sense. Like, why Why would he have already used his repair kit? Mm, I don't know. That's a bit weird. Paid actor. Yep. E75 over P. Oh, what are you doing, friend? No, I can't shoot that. Okay, I was correct. Hey, we even get a little bit of swat in there. Nice. E75 is now going to be uh, trying to shoot. That was RNG, but... E75 doesn't have the uh, the weak spot like uh, the others do. With the uh, little ears or eyes either side of the turret, which are like one millimeter thick or something. They're actually like ten, but same thing. All right, we go onwards to the middle to see if we can get a little bit more done. I think what I might have to start doing is doing these twice a week. Especially when we reached, like, the end of, uh, the end of marking, because it needs to be a session, like a good session, so, I don't know, maybe we'll have to split them up into, like, half an hour episodes each or something. Can I shoot this? <laughs> Not before everyone else. Come on, that was fully aimed. Mm. Need to be a little bit more elevated. It's the side of his turret. I don't even know where half of these are going. Like, I know he's behind a hill, but I mean, for goodness sake. 
Oh my god, why is everyone just behind stuff? Like whenever I'm ready to fire, it just they just disappear. Uh, well, fourteen two. Another hundred twenty k. It's not too bad. We're on eighty seven point two now. But yeah, I think I might need to start because I need more than like four games. Because if the first game is me just. Like, the way that you mark a tank, you can't just... It's almost impossible. It doesn't matter whether you're spamming gold or not. Because over the entire week, your whole progress just gets reset, basically. Um, unless you're on, like, some outrageous, like, number. Um, like, let's say, like, the marks are 2.4, like you see here. And let's say that my my average damage is, like, 3k. Um, it would be... Uh, like, staying the same, roughly. Um, but as they change each week, I was I was down, like, 2% at the start on the first game. So you spend that entire first game just getting back what you already had, and then the next lot, well, the next two or three, in my instance, would be trying to gain. And if you don't have a good game, then the whole entire thing is just... Not going to work. Um, I've got 30 seconds left. We're going to play one more. Ah, and you join me on Mines in a nice tier 9 game. Yes, Mines definitely needs to be uh, at tier 8 and higher. Like, Just make it tier 6 and below. It doesn't need to be any higher than tier 6. Make it like, uh, like provinces. And then it'll be pretty much fine. Right. I'm man, I'm not trying to block you, like I tried what are you doing? Just... Like, I'm not trying to block that guy, but he just got in the way. The radio man is bleeding. We can't rely on him. Enemy armor I don't care about the radio man to be honest. Can I even see this scorpion? We're angled really well against like the Byzantine and stuff, but the only problem is that the only problem is that the they can obviously just shoot my capola. Also the Pichetto might be able to shoot me in a second. Obviously we're above the Carnarvon, or slightly above, so we can shoot his Capola a little bit easier. Skoda's going to be very annoying for me. Just try and uh, get the most out of this. I really don't want to take a shell from the Skoda. I need to back off. I can't sit up here, really. I have cover there now, so that's good. I can't really sit. I can't even go into this corner here either because the Progetto will be able to shoot me. I don't know. I guess we just go here and just hope for the best. Of course he hits it. And it bounces. <sighs> I'm 
tried to go for the uh, like RNG shell where it would just go over the ridge line, but it doesn't work. He just got demolished. We only have a thousand damage at the moment. I don't know if the M3Y has pushed all the way down. I don't think he has because the Hawk should have been able to spot him. This is fun. I mean, maybe we just go all the way around. I don't think there's anything else that I can do at the moment. Just try and shoot the uh, E75 TS and the Bazante over this side, I guess. There's also a Maushin. He could be juicy, actually. We're going to load gold for him. Because we need it. Even for the Capola. I am cautious of the Scorpion G as well. the E50. E50 can one-shot me, so I can just smash him. Yeah. Well, GG. I think that's about as much as we can get out of this game. Like, we lost so many hit points, just because. Um, yeah. Well, even though that we lost, we still done okay. Um, I'll take third on damage, considering it's a tier 9 game as well. Uh, yeah. Another 33k. Not too bad. Uh, so yeah, we're nearly there, nearly halfway through 87%. Hopefully we can go on a little bit further next time. Uh, but yeah, overall, session was really good. Like 71% 70, wins, 2.1k. It's pretty decent. <sighs> Just hopefully we can actually continue and free mark this thing eventually. It will happen. Just, I don't know when. <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you did enjoy. If you 